Liberty. We're in another week of our online video series for, I'm sorry that we're still staying at home, but uh, I've got a really good one for you today. It's hitting against a backboard, and guess what? We're gonna use the Mesa Verde bulletin board uh, just to show you that you can use any flat surface that you want. And by the way, before we get started, um, I just wanna tell you that, that uh, I have two older sisters who taught me a tongue twister that uh, when I was in third grade, that I had to learn it for a period of weeks, I could do it faster. But I'm gonna do it for you as I kind of warm up here a little bit. It's about a woman who's baking a cake and her name is Betty. Betty bought her, bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. So Betty bought her, bought some better butter, put it in her bitter batter, and made her bitter batter better. Okay, now I'm gonna do it a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. Betty bought her, bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. So Betty bought her, bought some better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made her bitter batter better. Okay, so it took me weeks and weeks to learn to do that tongue twister, okay? Just as you just watched me hitting that ball in the air on this backboard, it takes time to get really good on a backboard. And I'm gonna show you, demonstrate a couple little things that I want you to think about. You can use this, you can use a flat surface anywhere in your house. You can do the stucco, on the side of your yard. You can do your garage. If you have a garage that's just a flat paneled garage, you can do it on any wall surface. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by holding my racket in a continental grip because that's gonna elevate the racket and make it easier to hit against the wall. What you have to remember is that your racket is sensitive and so if I take the ball and I bounce it on the ground like this and I take it and bounce it on the strings like that, bounce it on the concrete, bounce it on the strings, there's a lot more springiness because this is like a trampoline. So as I start off, what I'm doing is I'm just doing half volleys. And half volleys are that little bounce ball where you just keep it going. Now the cool thing about this is you can do it on both sides. You can do forehands, you can do backhands. And as you're doing it, what you're doing is you're keeping your head down and just making contact with it. You don't want to get into a thing where you hit it too hard like that because it goes flying back and you're going to ricochet and injure yourself. The other thing too is if you're concerned, if you're doing this in your house and you want to use something that's a little softer, you can use these 10 and under balls that they play tournaments with now that are a little softer. So you're not going to you're not going to damage Aunt Millie's uh, lamp that she gave you for Christmas by using a little softer ball. Okay, so now you can take this to the next level where you not only do the half volley, but then you start moving in, and then you start taking it and trying to hit it in the air like this. And again, all you're doing is you're just making contact with the ball. You can move it, you can move it along the wall like this, like this, and then you can start backing up again, half volley, half volley, half volley, 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 half volley, half volley, backhand. Same thing on the backhand side. Now, there's an online video, and I want you to punch it up when you get a chance with Roger Federer. It's a YouTube video where he's doing a volley against the wall. And what he's doing is he's got his racket this close to the wall, and he's just hitting it back and forth like this. Now, I'm not good enough to do that yet, so that's why as I'm, I'll, I'll try to see if I can do it. Okay, so if you keep the racket open, you'll be able to keep it going. Now, if you get up closer, and you start to close the racket. You start to close, let me see if we can do a couple. You start to close the racket. Then you start getting it a lot faster like that. That's, that's tricky. Now, let's say you want to kick it up a notch and you're practicing this and you want to get a little more exercise. Well, then you can do this. You can jump down, do 10 push-ups. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Jump back up. Here we go. Just half volley, half volley, half volley. Move in. Quiet racket. Move it along the wall. Hey, you know what I thought? It would be a, this would be a good time to show you guys how to put one of these uh, replacement overgrips onto your racket because a lot of times when you're playing in matches you'll see the pros a lot of times in tournaments. They'll have, you have 90 seconds to sit down on a changeover except after the first game, as you all know, and except during a tiebreaker. But a lot of times if you want a quick fix 
to make your grip feel like it's a little bit um, grippier, you put these replacement grips on that we have in the shop in here, okay? So what you do, they, they come in little packs, get them individually, and you unwrap it, and then you want to make sure that as you unwrap it, you're going to see on one side, you're going to have the cellophane. So the cellophane is right here on this side of the racket. So what you do is you take the cellophane, you peel it off like this, and because I'm right-handed, I'm going to put it on like I would for a right-handed player. Okay, the skinny end is on this side, the wider end is on this side. The skinny end, skinny end goes down here on the bottom, and there's a little tab right here that's got a little sticky part to it. So I'm going to peel that off like this, and now what I'm going to do, and you can already see that I've already put grips on here before, and I'm not going to bother peeling those off, but what you want to do is you want to start, I'll start on this side, you want to start this sticky part like this so that it's right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to just gently as you're pulling it you're going to go right around the edge of the butt cap of the racket and now you can start your wrapping and when you wrap it you just want to overlap it slightly and you just keep pulling it as you over is you're going around the edge and you're just a little bit. Now sometimes what'll happen is you'll put the grip on and you'll do that. Well, that'll just start falling apart on you when you play. Some of you might start wrapping it too much like this and then you run out of room at the end. So you just want to go at an angle and you just move it around like this. You just keep going. Isn't this cool? Like that color. We have Trinity on the camera today. This is Kate's daughter. She's in film school too, and she's doing a great job. Trinity, I appreciate you coming out and doing this with us today. And so now as I get to the end, I have a lot of excess. I don't have any scissors. So we're just gonna go ahead and curl it all the way around. And then, again, these always come with a little piece of tape. This happens to be a Wilson Pro Overgrip. And so you just basically take the sticky part like this put it right there, grab onto it, you peel it off like this, slide this around this way, and then if you have this little rubber tab, you just put it right back down on top, and now you have yourself a new grip for your match, okay? See you in the next video.